Hey guys, what's going on? Jay Ambition here. Uh, today I'm going to do a little something different. So, let's talk about OBS Studio. Yes, OBS Studio. I've been having some problems. I'm trying to create a YouTube channel, trying to get the, the best quality YouTube videos I can get. And it seems like such a simple fix with so many videos out there about OBS Studio. But sometimes it's not. So, I'm creating this video to tell you what I've learned through my two to three days of struggling trying to get the best quality video possible and I do not have a three thousand dollar machine I don't have a five hundred dollar machine either though so what I'm hoping to do is go through some OBS studio uh, settings um, screen capture setups etc to hopefully save you guys some time because I know I spent a lot of time trying to get the right settings in OBS with that said we are talking about OBS studio I think that's the way to go if you're gonna be recording videos now, if you're talking about streaming, I'm all about Streamlabs, 100% about Streamlabs. But if you're talking about just recording videos for YouTube, OBS Studio is the way to go. So if you don't know OBS Studio, please start by going back to um, the obsproject.com download link, download OBS Studio, install it, and then we'll get to the point where we can actually talk through some settings. So right now I have the Outer Worlds running. As you can see right here, OBS Studio is pulled up. I have game capture and I have some logos and whatever it may be, you guys are gonna have your own setup there. But I've watched 10 to 20 videos on this, right? And I could not get the right setup for my computer to get a quality video recording. One of the most passed over settings is when you're actually doing the game capture. So if you're adding a new source, make sure you go to game capture and when you go to game capture, make sure it's full screen. But that's not the only thing. When you set this to capture any full screen application, you must go into your application itself and go into settings. And where you see window mode, window won't work, windowed full screen will show you a bunch of lag. Full screen is the only thing that will work. So make sure in your game you have it to set to full screen if in your OBS Studio, that is how you're gonna be setting it up. So as you can see here, I have it set up as a full screen in my game. and my game capture, I have it set up as full screen. That is huge. Make sure you set that. Then we're gonna go into settings. And this is a lot of things you know, you'll see on other videos as well, but I will cover some of my hard, <laughs> hard earned learnings real quick here. So let's start with output tab. If you go into recording, that's what matters when you're actually recording a YouTube video or any other kind of video. If you're streaming, this tab matters and it's a lot of similar settings. But if we're in recording, these are, this is the screen you should see. I'm running 24.03 OBS Studio. And the first thing we're gonna start with is really where you put your videos. This is personal choice. You can put your videos anywhere you want. Mine's underneath my you know user, some random name, videos file. Next, we wanna look at recording format. It's gonna start at FLV, make sure it's on MP4. It'll make your life easier. YouTube likes MP4 if you're updating or uploading to YouTube. Next, audio tracks. If you don't know a lot about audio tracks, set it at one and just make sure all of your audio is also going to one and you'll have every single piece of audio you would need. There is ways to uh, split your audio into different tracks. So when you are going back and you're um, Looking at your video, you can really raise or lower the volume based on different tracks through your editing software. So that may be uh, something you're interested in. The next setting is encoder, and this is a big one. So everyone will talk about talked about NVENC. If you have the right graphics card, they do have their own encoder. If you don't have the top line encoder, then I would recommend going, and it depends on your CPU. So in short, if you have a good graphics card, you wanna probably use your graphics card encoder. My graphics card is fine, but it's not great. It's probably comparable to a 1060, 1070. My CPU is great. So I use my CPU, which is X264. So set that here. Leave your rescale output to, to whatever it's set here. We don't want that checked. Leave it unchecked. Below, CBR is constant bitrate. This is something you'll have to play with, but honestly, I've tried settings from 20,000 to 25,000, all the way up to 50,000, and there's not a huge difference. I prefer 35,000. If you're going to go with X264, set it to 35,000. In your interval key, frame interval, I set it at two. You can leave it at zero. 
Uh, zero is auto. Usually it's set to two either way. And then our CPU usage preset, very fast is what it, you know, it starts at. This is a little uh, misleading because the higher is less CPU. So if I were to go to super fast, it's actually less CPU. And if you go low, it, lower, it uses more CPU. So just remember that. Start it very fast, see what happens, go from there. Profile, I always set this to high. Not really sure why, but set it to high. Every other video is gonna tell you to do the same. Next thing we wanna look at is video. I have a 2560, 1440 base camera's resolution, and I am setting it scaled down to a 1080p. So most people will have 1080p's. Um, just make sure you are scaling it down to something uh, that allows you to have quality videos. So I started at 1080p, everything worked fine, so I left it. There also is an option to go down to 740 or 720p. That may be the next option, and that's not bad quality at all. If you get more consistent video with 720p, do it. Next thing we want to look at is the downscale filter. You can leave this at by cubic 16 samples. That's what it starts at. But if you do have, you know, a decent computer, 36 samples is great. Make sure your FPS is at 60. If you're at 30, it's really just not worth it. You'd rather mess with these other settings and lower them versus, you know, mess with your FPS. Next setting that's uh, quite overlooked and I think is pretty important when you're using your CPU to render is the process priority. Make sure you set this to at least above normal, if not high. And I do high just because I'd rather have a low lag on my side than um, influence the video poorly. So make sure that's set. With all this being said, these are very specific settings. You need to test what's gonna work best for your CPU. So one of the first things you can do to do that is really your, let me pull this up here. Really just go and control delete, go into task manager, go into performance, and you'll get a screen like this. So this is what your CPU has been doing. This will show utilization over time. This is your GPU and it also show utilization over time. What I like to do is if, I, if you have another monitor, I set this up right next to OBS split screen on the other monitor as I'm playing the game. If I see that my CPU is being maxed out, I obviously need to lower some of my settings. If I see my GPU is at 99%, <laughs> it's actually somewhat normal. From what I read, your GPU should be maxed out. And if it's not, it's because your CPU is limiting it. So watch as you're playing the game, how OBS is influencing your CPU if you're using your CPU for recording. If you're trying to use your GPU for recording and it's at 100% and you're not seeing in your processes, it being split evenly between your game and your OBS studio, you probably don't have a strong enough GPU to use that as your rendering device. So I would recommend going to your CPU and seeing how that looks. I really, really, really hope this helps you guys save some time and get quality videos for YouTube and any other source. If you're just sharing this locally, this will help the best quality output for your videos. If you have any questions, comments, please list them below. Um, I'm doing videos on the Outer Worlds. I play a little Rocket League. Um, I'm recording a little bit of everything. So really, really appreciate it if you could drop a like, subscribe, if, the, if you find this helpful. And always, please leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'd love to answer questions. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys.